come from a musical background. My dad was very into music, my mom as well. And I mean, growing up, I listened to all different types of genres from classics to disco to uh, rhythm and blues to country. So, I mean, it was quite vast. And apart from that, my dad was a DJ as well. So, I guess the apple doesn't fall far from the tree, as they all say. Well, music-wise, it was a case where here I was fixed on the type or the structure in regards to the clientele. But then over there, it was more um, vast, shall we say, because then I got to diff um, DJ for different cultures. Whereas here it's more of, okay, African culture. But then there, there was the Hindi culture, Punjabi culture, um, a bit of the Chinese culture, a bit of the Korean culture, a bit of the different aspects of African culture there as well, then the British, then in, some ca in a couple of cases there were the Germans, and Germans, there was Russians, there was Mongolians, there was Vietnamese. So, out there, I got to experience a lot more culture-wise for music. And then my library had to like grow and try and figure out how to accommodate. And at the same time, making sure everyone had fun, which was pretty tricky, but it was, it was, it was a good experience. It was a good experience. Because then that way, I learned a lot and then knew how to be diverse. Yo, don't worry. That, that day was, it was epic. I walked in and then he just looked at me and I was like, turned that way and walked out. <laughs> but then my mom was comfortable with it. She wasn't, she wasn't, she wasn't fast. She was like, oh, good, at least it's bringing you money, right? I'm like, yeah. So she was all right, it's fine. Well, those that are intrigued will come and they ask questions and they want to get to know me more. Those that see it as a taboo or are afraid, they stay away. So it's 50-50. It's, it's a 50-50 thing. Wow. Are you listening to this beat, ladies and gentlemen? Projects. Uh, let's see. Well, there's the main one that I'm doing right now, which is... Uh, I have my own comic book character called Beats. Uh, we've released two issues so far and we're working on the third issue at the moment. Um, he's a superhero that has powers in regards to sound. He can control sound. Um, so during at night he is a superhero saving people but not he's not he doesn't classify himself as a hero, he's doing it because he doesn't like bullies because bullying is a major issue around the world and I personally don't like bullies so I thought okay um, teamed up with Comic Republic and then he came up with the character uh, GDA designed everything and hey we're doing it right now so I, mean, I always want to be a comic book character ha! and now I am so yeah so, so that's the main that's the main project at the moment but then there will be other ones later on we'll see how it goes hell no <laughs> what the hell I mean oh, oh, no <laughs> I'll be honest myself and then really I, I can't think of any other crazy person other than myself and there really. Um, okay, so let's put it this way. I've, I've done so much that uh, a couple of the ex-girlfriends tagged me. When Fifty Shades of Grey came out, they all said that character was me. Straight up. One word to describe my life story.
Buddha, utter than lava.